Hello YouTube. Thank you for stopping by the channel today. My name is Sam Axe. As some of you may know, we have ended our Minecraft Ultimate or Feed the Beast Ultimate 147 world and we're starting a Feed the Beast 152 world with the beta pack. Uh, last night, Aaron and I both live streamed for several hours as we were starting to build up resources in the world and just kind of gave people a tour. So next time, I will do my best to give you a heads up, or at least a better heads up than allowing just showing it on uh, Aaron's channel or having Aaron write something about it. I'll do something on my channel too. Um, but from that live stream, a couple of questions came out of it, and we're going to address at least one of them today. Um, the first thing we're going to do is talk about how to get the 152 pack. Uh, it's not the easiest things on the world or thing in the world right now. It for some reason it's just not downloading properly. But I'll teach you how to get the right thing from the beginning. So uh, what you're going to do is launch the launcher just like I have here, and then go to the private packs tab, and you're going to type in 152 WGT if you want Greg Tech. And then you can type in 152 NGT if you don't want Greg Tech. Uh, for the most part, I'm only going to be working with with the Greg Tech, so just be aware. When you do that, when you click Add after typing in the code, you're going to see that this beta pack pops up in the bottom. You would normally hit launch, and it would download the server just like it's supposed to do, and I want you to do that if you have not done so. Uh, it's around 3 megs. I've already downloaded it, and what I've found is that when it downloads, it downloads incomplete. So when I go to 152WGT, what you expect to see here is Minecraft, uh, INST mods, and then when you go into the Minecraft directory, or Minecraft, I'm sorry, Minecraft directory, you expect to see a mods folder, a config folder, and a couple of other folders that are not here. And I'm not quite sure why that's not downloading right. So... Uh, after you've downloaded it, go ahead and quit Minecraft. It won't have Forge Mod Loader in it. And uh, what you need to do is go into your browser and follow this path here. And don't worry about copying it. I will put it in the description of the file. And it's going to download a file called 152WGT, and it's a zip file. So once that's done, I want you to open it with your favorite zip tool. I use 7-Zip. Uh, I believe it's the best tool. You can get it at 7-Zip.org or 7-Zip.org and just download this EXE for Windows. And I'm certain there's one for... Actually, I'm not sure if there's one for... Um, I'm sorry. I'm not sure if there's one for Mac. I got all lost there. But for Windows, that's what you download and go ahead and install it. Uh, so what I do is I just double click this and it's going to open up in Mac. Actually, let's do this real quick. I want to launch this and show you what you'll see. Always click no here or click no here for the time being. You see that normally you have a bunch of information about the Forge mod loader sitting down here. All I see is Minecraft 152. This is just vanilla Minecraft. Normally there's a mods button here that lets you know what's going on. So uh, now you open up this zip file and then go to your Minecraft directory and the way you find you can find out where that's at if you go to options there is a list there's a place that shows you where that Minecraft directory is so for me or I'm sorry where it's being stored for me it's being stored here so I'm at that same path there should be a 152 WGT folder in there I want you to open it up and then take the, the copy these from the zip file and drop them in here and then I am going you're gonna to have to do this several times I do this for all the current items say yes I want to merge them and it's actually I only had to do it once that time so now you see that we've got Minecraft INST mods I can see the mods folder in here I can back up I can go to config I can see all of that uh, and then if I launch Feed the Beast Launcher again and I go down to 152 and hit launch click no because I don't want it to restore or back up kill this or this one this is that other copy I had up 
let's just let it go through. Uh, if anyone's looked at the config or has looked at the console, I mean, it is doing a lot of stuff when it launches, and especially the first time. It's building configs. It's doing all kinds of things that it doesn't do any other time, but it's just a very long process to launch Feed the Beast, and if anyone's done any programming, then you might have a pretty good clue of what's going on here. So we're just going to wait on this to finish setting up. Uh, I'll tell you that this is all that's required if you want to play Feed the Beast in single player or if you want to open it up onto your LAN and share your world with your, you know, with people that are connected to you or even a Hamachi server. All of those things can be done from here. You don't need to run a server and this, this is the extent of it. What we're going to talk about next is how you build a server that will work with uh, 152. Unfortunately, I do not have the console up, so we can't see how far along this is, but I have looked at this before, and I mean, it, it is extensive what it's doing. I guess I'll take this opportunity to say thank you to anyone that joined the live stream yesterday. I really had a lot of fun. I wish that uh, we could have done a little more. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do when I started it, and so uh, back to this... Now you see that we see Minecraft 152, we see MCP, we see some stuff about the Forge mod loader, we know what Minecraft Forge version we're on, things like that. And so we see this mods button, it'll tell us every single mod we have loaded. And so uh, if anyone hasn't looked at the list, I know that Reddit has a list of the mods that are on here. Some things that are missing are Soul Shards are definitely not in here. Uh, Red Power is obviously not in here trying to think if there's anything else that was six oh extra bees is not in here uh ee3 is still just the minium stone as far as i know um those are the ones that come to mind uh i believe this natura mode is awesome uh if you're just launching this for the first time i i really encourage you to go to the nether the things that natura does to the nether is I believe it's Natura that does that. It It's amazing. It really, really is amazing. Uh, the other thing is Tinker's Construct. Uh, we have looked at it quite a bit. Uh, Voidable, who has joined us on the server, has been messing with this, and uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, for It will get you to... I would say that it will advance you further along than uh, most other things. As a matter of fact, we've just built Sterling engines, but we could be doing all of our smelting inside of Tinker Strunk's constructs and still getting double ores. So I encourage you to check that out. I think that's a pretty cool plug-in and can't wait to play with it a little more. So I'm going to go ahead and quit the game. As I said, everything that I'm going to discuss from here on out is actually about making the server. So... Um, the next thing you want to do if you're going to make the server is two things. Um, you should go to Minecraft Forge. You can see this build 780712. That's what's in 152 right now. Uh, my server is actually running off of build 780700. I believe that the MMM Power Suits requires this one, and this is the latest that's required. So that's what I built mine off of. So you want to download this and you want to download the universal and so I'll go ahead and click download we'll skip the ad fly as soon as it's done and be done and again I will include links to this uh, Minecraft Forge website in the list below and then the other thing is you want to go to minecraft.net click download and you want to download this minecraft server dot jar so go ahead and click keep and we'll allow those to finish so now we'll go to our downloads folder and we will see that we have these two together so if you've installed 7-zip I believe that when RAR will do this too uh, what you want to do is just double click this and it's going to open up everything that's required for Minecraft Forge and then for Minecraft server what I do is I right click it and I go to 7-zip and I click open archive and again I'm inside the jar file which is a container for a bunch of Java files or Java classes so 
the next thing I do is I come over here I do a control A and I highlight everything in here and then I drag it over into this and it will copy everything over into this jar click yes to say that you want it to go ahead and modify and you can see that it made its changes and then close it out now when you're uploading to your server you need this jar that you just modified which is sitting right here for me and then you're also going to need a bunch of information from this 152 directory uh, what I took was the config I took the core mods lib miss peripherals mods you can actually take this whole folder in its entirety and set it up and then when you upload it what you want you to do is just have your server start uh, put this in the same directory as that jar file and then have your server start using the server file from this server file this minecraft underscore server dot jar and that should get you running completely on 152 on a SMP server again I want to thank everybody for stopping by the channel today I will put the links to Minecraft, the Minecraft Forge directory, to the Creeper repo, which has the 152 WGT. And I believe that if I, let me copy this right here and put this right here, I believe that I can just put NGT in here. Nope. Nope, it does not work with NGT. I'll have to figure out what that is. Uh, if I can figure it out, I'll let you know, but I, I actually find it hard, kind of doubtful. So use the 152 WGT code in your, in your download. Um, I plan to record one other episode in the next day or so. It'll be on turtles. I have a uh, turtle strip mining program and an excavate program that uh, I have manipulated to uh, be what I would consider much more efficient and uh, you I'll show a tutorial on or a step through of the code just to show you what it is and then uh, how to use them in your world uh, until then thanks again talk to you later